Hi everyone, I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, Senior Interventional Cardiologist from Care Hospitals, iTech City. Today we will discuss about women and heart attack. Nowadays we are seeing more and more young women presenting with heart related issues. Most of the times women are protected from heart attack till they reach menopause because most of the hormones, female hormones are protective. That's why most of the times we don't uh, see females. But nowadays because of the uh, change in lifestyle, because of the family history, people develop diabetes at a very younger age. When women develop diabetes or when there is a family history of heart problem in the, in the family, that is like mother before the age of 65 or father before the age of 55. If they develop heart related issues, if they undergo any stenting or bypass surgery, there is a high risk even in young women to develop heart related issues. That is blockage in the heart which may result in heart attack. So it is very important for women uh, to uh, address. See when they have women symptoms are different. For women what will happen generally gen men they will have symptoms like chest pain. Classical chest pain will be there. But uh, 10 to 20 percent of the women they may not experience the severe type of pain here. Sometimes they may feel some sort of throat discomfort or some jaw pain when they go for walking or sometimes when they are doing exertion they will feel some sort of discomfort overall they cannot describe it as pain some sort of discomfort might be there and sometimes they feel unusual fatigue or some nauseating sensation with some breathing difficulty especially in a diabetic patient if they have these sort of symptoms definitely there is a chance that they may be suffering from heart related issues heart attack as i said you men will have severe pain and they will go for doctor's consultation at earlier point of time women generally they try to ignore because of the multiple responsibilities and most of the times what we see practically they just try to ignore the complaints most of the times when they are alone if they are homemakers they may be alone in the house that time they will think that okay they will discuss with the family members at the later point of time they forget tend to forget because of that busy schedule and second point most of the times they don't want to disturb the family member because of the timing of the day sometimes old people they will have discomfort during night times so they don't want to disturb the family member so they think that they'll inform them next day morning but most of the times when heart attack happens it has to be addressed as early as possible by the time uh, morning by the time uh, if it is six o'clock in the morning for example already the pain started at 12 o'clock already six hours over that means enough damage would have happened to the patient heart muscle so it is very important for anybody when the discomfort happens immediately it is it is advisable to inform to the family member don't delay for any reason any old person in the family i sincerely advise you if you have any discomfort or like sort of indigestion please inform to your family member especially if you are diabetic hypertensive or anything and women as i said you they will not have uh, typical complaints they may have some indigestion discomfort if you have any sort of discomfort it is better to consult your cardiologist before uh, it turns out to be a major heart attack second important point whenever you go for regular walking definitely you feel some discomfort during that uh, walking period after walking for some distance you might feel like you will have uh, some discomfort which will come down when you take rest if you have some sort of discomfort like that there is a high chance that there may be a block in the heart so you need to consult a doctor and third point when we do angiogram for a patient with suspected heart attack, women tend to have uh, less blocks sometimes. They may not have major blocks in the main vessels. They may be having very, very small blocks in the small blood vessels, which may not require any stenting procedure, but they need lifelong medications. Many a times these people, when the angiogram is normal, they think that there is no issue at all, but it's not like that. The major blood vessels are seen through the angiogram. If it shows some blockage, stent or bypass surgery can be done. But when there are multiple small channels where there are blockages which cannot be detected by angiogram so when the patient is having chest pain with ecg changes or some echo changes are there but the angio normal but these people has to be they have to be put on proper medicines so that they will not suffer from the heart attack or suffer from the pain so for the patient to have a normal good quality life they need to continue blood thinners and other medications as advised by the doctor along with that if you keep the diabetes hypertension and other thyroid and other things under control most of the times this pain will disappear in more than 80 to 90 percent of the cases in women it may take some time for the pain to disappear but there are a lot of new medications are available if you consult your cardiologist even after a normal angiogram they will help you out to get it of the pain thank you